What's up? I'm Carly Hansen, and all eyes are on me because I'm that bitch. Yes, I was working at McDonald's long before this all started, this chaos. Yeah, I started working there when I was 15, I believe, and I worked there for a year. And it honestly, like, people always ask me, like, what was it like? Uh, is there any secrets? Blah, blah, blah. But, like, it was just fun and easy, other than, like, when there was, like, rush hour or whatever, or, like, lunchtime. But, yeah, it was just good times. I, like, got out of my comfort zone talking to strangers, made friends with, like, old people customers. It was fun. I didn't have to cook or anything, so it was easy. My ultimate McDonald's order. Honestly, I'm easy. I like like a McChicken, large fry, and then some buffalo sauce. You know, gotta get that buff sauce, dip the fries in, and like a drink. McFlurry, maybe, if I'm feeling crazy. Reese's. I've lived in the same house with my family for the for all my life. Um, and then when I graduated high school early, I was 17, I moved 
to LA and got a studio apartment and just lived by myself. And it's obviously a huge change because I have my mom, my dad, my two sisters, and my my dogs and my cat, and I just had to leave, all, and my friends, I had to leave all of that and just start this whole new life, and which was obviously weird, and I'm not a person that loves change, so it was like a lot to adjust to, but for what I'm doing, I would do anything to, like I would move to freaking China if I had to, to like do what I had to do. Cause I didn't really have any advice, like I kind of just went out and like did all of this on a, on a whim. Um, so I don't know what I'd tell someone that's moving from a small town to LA. I'd just say like, you can do it, honestly. Yeah, like my music is very pop, but I think it has a lot to do with what I grew up on, especially like my first concert was a Disturbed concert when I was like in fourth grade. Every time we were in the car, like my mom was always playing some rock music and I hated it back then, but as I got older, I like realized like, oh man, I'm angry, like I have this angst and I wanna listen to this rock music. There's like this this angst that it's, it's not only me, but like Billie Eilish has it and like Youngblood has it and like even all me and my friends back home, like we're just full of this like, I don't give a fuck attitude and I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where that, why we're like that. I don't uh, whatever, because I'm fucking growing up in it and I'm just going along with it, but it's amazing and I'm all, I'm here for it. It's, it's sick. Yeah, so only one, um, I did not expect, that song of all songs, I did not expect that to be the one that like blew up and it really blew up when Taylor Swift added it to her favorite songs playlist. Not up until like a couple months ago, I didn't believe that Taylor Swift actually listened to my song, but then she added my one of my new songs into her newest um, favorite songs playlist. So she obviously is like curating it and like knows who I am and it's just fucking crazy. And then it went into today's top hits on Spotify and it just kept going from there. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much like how a lot of this began was from Only One. The first like real tour I did was with Jeremy Zucker and that was just like small, sweaty, intimate venues and that was good because I'd never played a, a show before. Straight on after that tour, we went on to Troy Savant's tour and that was just like, that was just madness. It was like pride every night and it was these big theaters and I went on first and I always had to be like the, the one to get the crowd riled up, which was always, which was sometimes kind of hard because the, the theaters would be seated and it was like, I don't know, kind of intimidating. But as it kept going, I got so much more comfortable. And especially when I saw Youngblood, I'd never seen him. I was a fan of him before I went on his tour. And that was just crazy when my manager told me um, that, we, that I could go on tour with him. Yeah, that was, seeing him perform just made me want to go even more crazy because he's just such, this, he's just this ball of, energy, like he's just so inspiring to watch. The last tour I was on was with Bad Sons and they're like this really cool alternative band. Um, so yeah, it's cool to go on tour with these, like Jeremy is so much different from Youngblood and Youngblood's so much different from Bad Sons and Troy Sivan obviously. So it's cool to like reach all these different um, genres and different different fans from these different genres, it's, which is what I wanna do because I think with my music, it's not just pop, so I can reach these people and connect with all of them. I've been constantly writing for like the past, almost, I wanna say like two years now, and junk is basically as if I vomited my journal into a project. Everybody, this is like so cheesy and gross, but like everybody has their own junk and like this EP was everything I was going through and it's my junk. It's like, you know how everybody has like a junk drawer at home, like you just throw a whole bunch of shit in it and it's exactly how I wanted it to turn out. It's not like anybody forced me to put any of the shit on it. Like it's all straight from me, which I'm very proud of. Well, through the writing process of junk, I, like for example, writing Hazel was super, it wasn't, it was kind of hard for me just cause I won, like I'm not, I especially like 
a year ago, I wasn't the kind of person to just like talk to strangers about something so personal to me. Yeah, I guess I've just learned to not hold back and to be as honest as possible when it comes to, not even just in songwriting, but just to people, to, to everyone in your life in general. Demi Lovato freaking shouted. First she like posted a video of her like showing off her makeup and Back in My Arms was playing in the background and that, that was already enough for me to like go pee my pants. But then like the next day she posted a screenshot of Back in My Arms of like her listening to it and she wrote this little paragraph about how it reminded her of uh, her and her first crush on a girl. And it was just crazy. The fact that like I made Demi Lovato like think of something like that just blows my fucking, like that's camp rock Demi Lovato. Like that's fucking, that's Demi Lovato, bro. I can't even think of Justin Bieber like noticing me. I just, I can't. I would, I would, I don't even know what I'd do because it seems so like far away. Like, I don't even know. I. He's the reason why I'm sitting here right now. Like, he's the reason why I even started singing. Like, I learned how to sing from that man. <sighs> All right, let's move on. Shout out to La Crosse, Wisconsin, um, on Alaska, Wisconsin, my babies, my cities, my loves. I love you, and that's all. What's up, I'm Carly Hansen, and you are tuned in to Ones to Watch.